Welcome to IT Revision Hub. Today I am going to show you how to configure a FortiGate firewall using GNS3. There I will be using a NAT cloud and a web terminal and a layer to switch and FortiGate firewall with 6.2.3 firmware version. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, Please subscribe now and press the bell icon to get the latest notification of my videos. Now we will go to the lab session using GNS3. At first we will go to the firewall CLI. We will use the login password as admin and the password as blank. Now it will prompt to enter new password. We will enter the new password and we will confirm the password. After that, we will go to the interface settings of the firewall. Here you can see for the port 1, DHCP is configured. Port 1 gets an IP from the NAT cloud. You can access the uh, port 1 using HTTPS, SSH, HTTP and FGN, FGFM. Now we are going to configure port 2 to get connected to the uh, firewall using the terminal, web terminal. We will set an IP for the port 2. Also, we will allow ping access and HTTP access. Now we will go to the web terminal and configure the interface. Here we will remove the hashed comments and change the IP. For the terminal IP address we use 192.168.2.2 and for the gateway we will configure 192.168.2.254 for the DNS we will use Google DNS and save now we will stop the web terminal and start it again now we will go to the web terminal and try to ping the gateway. One nine two one six eight two dot two five four. Gateway means it's the firewall interface. Now you can see we can ping the firewall. Now we'll use the web terminal to get connected to the firewall. Here we use HTTP because we allowed access only to HTTP access. Here, this is the firewall. Uh, you can see here the dashboard status. This firewall is operating net mode. 
you can see the logical topology and security ratings not available but also the fabric connectors we'll go to the network interfaces and we'll see the interfaces we already configured the port one is the net interface port 2 there you can see the IP we configured already here for the DNS we can specify a DNS but we'll use the same these are the SD WAN interfaces at this lab we are not going to configure those SD WAN interfaces we'll try to ping internet here you can see we can ping the internet that means uh, from the net cloud we are able to use the internet connectivity now what we are going to check is whether we can go to the internet from the terminal to get connected to the internet from the web terminal we need to add some policies and a default route so we'll go to the uh, firewall again and configure firewall policies and the default route here you can see we are not able to connect the internet now we'll go to the policy objects and I will create IP before policy we use policy name as the internet and uh, the incoming interface is port 2 as you know uh, and the outgoing interface is port 1 will allow all source interfaces at this stage and all destination and all the services and we'll keep NAT settings as it is because we need NAT to get connected to the internet and we'll allow all sessions here I will be using antivirus and web filters as default but don't know whether in this VM those features will work anyway we'll proceed we'll proceed as it is and press ok now we have created a firewall policy to get connected to the internet next we'll configure a default route for that we have to go to interface and static routes now we'll create a new static route for the interface we'll select port 1 now uh, we'll select dynamic then uh, we can get an IP from the DHCP and if we know the IP address we can specify the IP address now we'll press OK now the static route is there we'll see whether we can connect it to the internet still it is failing now we'll go and check what has happened we'll go to the IPv4 policies and we'll edit it I think uh, in the IPv4 policy there are some security profiles since this is a this is a firewall without license I think those profiles are disabled therefore we will uh, disable antivirus and web filter and save it
now we'll go and see whether we can connect it to the internet let's ping google dns here you can see we are able to ping to the google dns now the internet is working i hope now you are able to configure a firewall using gns3 software if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please press the subscribe button below and press the bell icon once you press the bell icon you will be able to get alerts of my latest video updates please subscribe share and comment we'll meet from my next video thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day